Hey there, science fans! Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the menstrual cycle. It's a topic that's often shrouded in mystery and misinformation. But fear not, because we're here to break it all down in a way that's both informative and engaging. At its core, the menstrual cycle is a symphony of hormones, tissues, and intricate processes. It all starts with the ovaries, those remarkable organs that house and release eggs. Each month, like clockwork, one lucky egg begins to mature inside a tiny sac called a follicle. As the egg gears up for its grand debut, the lining of the uterus, known as the endometrium, starts to thicken. It's like laying out a plush red carpet preparing for a very important guest. This thickening is driven by a surge in estrogen, a key hormone in the menstrual cycle. Now here's where things get really interesting. Around day 14 of the cycle, the mature egg bursts from the ovary in a process called ovulation. This egg then embarks on a journey down the fallopian tube, hoping to meet its match, a sperm cell. If fertilization occurs, the fertilized egg will implant in the cozy confines of the thickened endometrium. Pregnancy begins, but if the egg doesn't encounter any sperm on its journey, it simply dissolves. The hormone levels that supported the thickened endometrium plummet, signaling the body to shed the lining, and thus, menstruation begins. Why do women menstruate, you ask? It might seem like a messy and inconvenient process, and let's be honest, it can be. But from an evolutionary standpoint, menstruation provides some significant advantages. One prevailing theory centers around the concept of maternal-fetal conflict. Imagine this, a mother's body is like a fortress, carefully guarding its resources. The developing fetus on the other hand is a bit like a demanding guest, constantly seeking nutrients and energy for its own growth. This creates a fascinating evolutionary tug of war. Menstruation in this context acts as a brilliant defense mechanism. By shedding the endometrial lining, the mother's body effectively screens out embryos that may not be viable or that have implanted poorly. Think of it as a quality control system, ensuring that only the strongest and healthiest pregnancies continue. This shedding also protects the mother from potential infections that could arise from a poorly implanted embryo or a compromised pregnancy. It's all about maximizing reproductive success in the grand scheme of evolution. Let's clear the air about some common myths surrounding menstruation. You know those whispers and old wives' tales that seem to circulate endlessly. One persistent myth is that women can't get pregnant during their period. While it's true that the chances of conception are lower during menstruation, it's not impossible. Sperm can survive inside the female reproductive tract for several days. So, if ovulation occurs unexpectedly early in a cycle, and there's a romantic encounter with viable sperm, pregnancy is still on the table. Another common misconception is that all women experience debilitating cramps during their period. While some cramping is normal, severe pain that disrupts daily life is not. If you experience excruciating cramps, don't suffer in silence. Talk to your doctor because there might be underlying medical conditions that require attention. Menstruation, my friends, is not just a biological event, it's woven into the tapestry of human history and culture. Throughout the ages, different societies have held vastly different beliefs and practices surrounding menstruation. In some cultures, menstruation is celebrated as a sacred time of renewal and feminine power. In others, it's been shrouded in secrecy and taboo. Ancient civilizations, with their limited understanding of human biology, often attributed menstruation to mystical or supernatural forces. In ancient Rome, for example, Pliny the Elder, a renowned naturalist, believed that a menstruating woman could wilt crops and dull the shine of mirrors simply by being near them. Thankfully, science has dispelled such notions. As we continue to learn and grow, it's crucial to approach menstruation with understanding, empathy, and a healthy dose of scientific curiosity. Remember, knowledge is power, and by breaking down stigmas and promoting open conversations, we can create a more informed and empowered world for everyone. Keep those brains buzzing, everyone.